wonderful presence of Jesus. Hans vidunderliga närvar. Today we're going to fix our eyes on him. Idag så ska vi ta och fäste blicket på Jesus. And then we're going to partake of communion together. Och så ska vi ta del av nådvärlden samman. I don't know how you do it here in Norway. Jag vet inte hur andra gör det i Norge. But we're going to do it together. Men vi ska i alla fall göra det samman. Because the communion is all about what Christ has already done. För din nådvärlden handlar om det Jesus allerede har gjort. So maybe you're going to get some fresh revelation as we partake today. Så kanske du får lite ny uppenbarelse när vi gör det i dag. Because it's a time to remember him för det är en tid för att huska han to remember what he has accomplished och komma ihåg allt han har gjort it's not a time to look at you det är en tid att se på dig it's a time to look at him men det är en tid för att se på ham you know um, as we look and behold jesus när vi ser på jesus something beautiful happens så sker det något vackert the holy spirit begins to work miracles så börjar helgon och göra mirakel we began to do and and see what we didn't see before. Vi börjar och göra och se det vi inte så för. And I want to talk about that today. Och det är tal om idag. I want to talk about how do we do the impossible? Hur vi talar om hur man gör det omöjliga. How do we live in the impossible? Hur man lever vid det omöjliga. Because Jesus died that we could live his life. För Jesus dödes så vi kan leva hans liv. Do you know you're actually supposed to live the life of Jesus in the earth? Vet du vet du att du egentligen ska leva Jesu liv här på jorden? You're not supposed to live a common life. Du ska inte leva ett vanligt liv. You're supposed to live an uncommon life. Du ska leva ett ovanligt liv. Because Christ has set you apart. För Jesus har satt dig till sida. You once were in darkness. En gång så var vi i mörke. But now you've come into the light. Men nu är du i ljuset. And light looks a lot different than darkness. Och ljuset ser väldigt annorlunda ut än mörke. Amen. Amen. If you have a little light in a dark room. Visst du bara har lite ljus i ett mörkt rum. I notice you really quickly. Så lägger du märke till det ljuset fort. You have the light of Christ on the inside of you. Du har Jesu ljus inne i dig. Jesus says I am the light of the world. Jesus säger jag är eh uh, jordens ljus. And then he says you are the light of the world. Och han säger det är jordens ljus. Well, if Jesus is a light, how can I be the light? Men men vis Jesus är ljuset, hur kan jag vara ljuset? It's because when you receive Christ as your savior. Det för din när du tar emot Kristus som din frälsare. The Bible says he comes and makes his his living in you. Så säger Bibeln att han kommer och bor inne i dig. He doesn't just come to give you life, he comes to live in you. Han kommer inte bara för att ge dig liv, han kommer för att bo och leva in i dig. Christ in you. Jesus i dig. Is the hope of glory. Är hoppet om härlighet. What is glory? Vad är härlighet? It's the manifestation of heaven on earth. Den manifestationen av himlen här på jorden. And it's in you. Och den är i dig. Jesus says the kingdom of heaven is within you. Jesus säger att Guds rike är inne i dig. We're not saying come on down. Vi säger inte kom ned. <laughs> Jesus is saying I live in you and I want out. Jesus säger men jag lever i dig och jag vill komma ut. Light coming out into the darkness. Ljus som kommer ut i mörkret. We know that the Bible says in Matthew. Vi vet att Bibeln säger i Matteus. It says that they were sitting in darkness. The der, people were sitting in darkness. Där står det att folkena de bodde i mörke. In the land of the shadow of death. I dödskyckens dal. Dead in their sin. Döda i sina synder. Under the curse of the fall of Adam. Under förbannelsen av Adams fall. And then the Bible says a light came. Och så säger Bibeln att ett ljus kom. And Jesus went about doing miracles. Och Jesus han gick runt och gjorde mirakler. The light had come. Ljuset hade kommit. And the light had come to those who were sitting in darkness. Och ljuset hade kommit till de som satt i mörke. You are the light. Du är ljuset. And God is destined to send you into the darkness. Och Gud har utvalt dig till att bli sendt ut i mörke. And the darkness is anyone who's sitting in death. Och mörke är alla de som sitter i död. Do you have a friend who's sitting in death? Har du en vän som sitter i död? Do you have a family member who's sitting in death? Har du en i familjen som sitter i död? Well, guess what? You're the light. Ja men 
Yet, uh, what? Du er You're Jesus. the Jesus that they're going to see. Du er den Jesus som de kommer til å se. Amen. Amen. You have Christ in you is their answer. Kristus i dig er deres svar. We're not begging God to bring an answer. Vi trygler ikke Gud om å få et svar. Christ in you is the answer. Jesus i dig er svaret. His name is Jesus. Hans navn er Jesus. Amen. Amen. And every situation that you're faced with. Og i enhver situation som du møter. It bows to him. Så so, uh, it bows to him. Så so bøyer det for ham. Just speak his name. Bare tal hans navn. I don't know who this is for. Jeg vet ikke hvem dette er til. This is my message. Det var ikke egentlig ikke mitt budskap. But this is for somebody. Men dette her er til noen. Who's struggling to see a change. Som strever med å se en forandring. Hey, speak his name. Bare tal hans navn. Speak into that darkness. Tal inn i det mørket. Speak into that hopelessness. Tal inn i den håpløse situasjonen. And say in the name of Jesus. Og si Jesu navn. Hopelessness, leave. Håpløshet, forsvinn. I bind this darkness in the name of Jesus. Og jeg binder dette mørket i Jesu navn. And I release the light of Christ. Og jeg forløser Jesu lys. Guess what's gonna happen. Så gjett hva som skjer. Faithful Holy Ghost. Den trofaste Helion. He's going to come in and he's going to remove the darkness. Han kommer inn og kommer til å fjerne mørket. Because Christ is the light. Fordi Kristus er lyset. Let him out. La ham slippe ut. Let him out into your family. La ham slippe ut i din familie. Let him out into your workplace. La ham slippe ut på jobben din. Let him out in your family. La ham slippe ut i din familie. You're not without help. Du er ikke uten hjelp. Don't look into the world for help. Ikke se ut i verden for hjelp. We do that a lot. Det gjør vi mye. But the help is in Christ. Men hjelpen er i Kristus. Any help you get outside in the world. Den hjelpen du finner i verden. It's temporary. Det er midlertidig. And they cannot guarantee to fix it. Og de kan ikke garantere noe fix. All they can guarantee is maybe we can help you. Alt de kan garantere er at kanskje vi kan hjelpe deg. Vi kan ikke forandre noe. Men la oss hjelpe deg i det. Men sånn er ikke Guds rike. Men sånn er ikke Guds rike. No, that's not the kingdom of God. Men sånn er ikke Guds rike. Jesus wants to come in and change it. Jesus vil komme inn og forandre det. Come on, say I. Say Christ is the light of the world. Si Kristus er verdens lys. Come on, Christ is the light of the world. Kristus er verdens lys. And I am the light of the world. Og jeg er verdens lys. How does that feel this morning? Hvordan føles det denne morgenen? You are the light. Du er lyset. Because Christ is abiding in you. Fordi Kristus han lever i deg. You're not without help. Du er ikke uten hjelp. Speak his name. Tal hans navn. Amen. Amen. Somebody's going to run into their family and begin to speak his name. Noen kommer til å løpe inn i sin familie og rope hans navn. You're going to say, hey, come here, grandkid, I got to put my hand on you and speak his name. Så noen av dere kommer til å si, kom her, barn og barn, jeg kommer til å tale Jesu navn over deg. And you're going to see darkness leave. Og du kommer til å se mørket fly. Amen. Amen. It's good. Det er bra. Who was that for this morning? Hvem var det for her på morgenen? I take some too. Jeg vil også ha noen. We need to remind, the Lord just wants to remind us this morning. Herren vil bare minne oss om dette på moralen. You know, the Apostle Paul quite often, du vet Apostlen Paulus ganske ofte, he would come to the church, han ville komme til kirken, and he would remind them of the truth. Og så ville han minne dem om sannheten. It's the truth they already knew. Det var sannheten de egentlig visste om. But, they needed to be reminded because they weren't living in it. Men de trengte å bli minnet om det fordi de ikke levde i det. For some reason they had let the truth go. Av en eller annen grunn så hadde de sluppet denne sannheten. So, just here to remind you today. Så jeg bare her får minne dere på det i dag. Christ in you. Kristus i deg. Christ is in you. Kristus i deg. Amen. Amen. The darkness will flee. At mørket vil fly. It will bow to him. Det må bøye seg for ham. I want to remind us of a story. It's in Matthew chapter 14. Jeg vil minne oss om en historie i Matteus 14. 
And it's a story of, of Jesus walking on the water to the disciples. Och det är er historien om Jesus som går på vatten till disciplarna. He had just fed the 5000. Han hade akkurat matat de 5000. He had just healed all the sick. Han hade akkurat helbredet alla de sjuka. It was a really good day. Det var en god dag. They saw a lot of miracles. De så många mirakler. They saw the sick, a lot of people getting healed. De så många som blev helbredet. They saw the Lord multiply loaves and fishes. Och de så Herren multiplicera fisk och bröd. I mean miracles of health and miracles of provision. That's great. Mirakler både till kropp och till uh, som legedom och till mat. And the Bible says in verse 22. Så säger Bibeln i vers 22. That immediately Jesus made his disciples get into the boat and go ahead of him to the other side and he sent the crowd away. Så står det strax fick Jesus disciplinerna sina att slå gå i båten och dra föran ham till den andra sidan mens han sände folkeskarna av sted. And after he sent the crowd away, he went up on the mountain by himself to pray. Och då han hade sent skarna av sted gick han upp i fjellet för sig själv för att be. And when it was evening, he was there alone. Och då kvällen kom var han alene där. And the boat with his disciples in it, they were already a long distance from the land. Så båten var nog mitt ute på sjön och blev kastad hit och dit av bølgene. And they were being battered by the waves and the wind was contrary. Det får vinden var emot. That means there was a storm. Det betyder att det var en storm. They were headed across. De var på väg över. And all of a sudden, I know the winds. I tried to pump gas this morning. Jag känner vinden jag prövade att fylla bensin på morgonen. I had to put my jacket on. Jag måste ta på mig jackan. I had to put my hood on. Och jacka hette. Or my hair would have been a hot mess. Eller så hade bara håret mitt sett vilt ut. Because the wind was blowing. För det vinden blåste. But this is a very strong wind. Men det är en stark vind. And the waves are coming up. Och bölgen är liksom blir blåst upp. How many have you ever taken a ferry? Har någon som har tagit en färje? And and you, they say, oh, it's a storm. Och så säger de, nu kommer en storm. And you get across, and it's a little rocky on the ferry. Och så mitt på vannet så känner du att nu börjar du att rocka fram och tillbaka. I experienced this one time. Jag upplevde det en gång. Coming from Denmark into Norway. När du drog från Danmark till Norge. And I said, oh, it's okay, I'll be fine. Och så sa jag, ja, ja, det går bra. I was praying the whole time. Ja, men jag bara hela tiden. I actually got. For the first time ever, seasick. For first time in my life, I was seasick. And I said, "Oh Lord, I don't want to puke. I don't oh. want to puke." I said, "Oh, Herre, I will not puke." And I was inside the ferry. Och jag var inne i färjen. These guys were out, and the waves they could feel the water. Och dessa gutta, de var ute och de kunde se och följa vattnet. I mean, they weren't in a cozy ferry. De var inte en hygglig färje. Sitting in a nice chair with a cup of coffee. Som satt i en stol med en kopp kaffe. They were in the boat. De var i båten. They could feel the waves. De följde bågen. They could feel the wind. De följde vinden. A little different than my ferry ride. Litt annorlunda än <laughs> min färjetur. And the Bible says in verse 25. Och så säger Bibeln i vers 25. In the fourth watch of the night. Men i den fjärde nattvakt. You know that's in the darkest time of the night. Du vet då är det mörkast. That's like from 3 a.m. to 6 p.m. Det är från 3 till 6 mitt på natten. In the darkest time Jesus came to them. Men i den fjärde nattvakt kom Jesus till dem. Walking on the sea. Han kom gående på sjön. I love this. Jag älskar detta. They didn't go. They didn't scream for him. De skrek inte efter han. The Bible says Jesus saw them. Om Bibeln säger att Jesus såg dem. It is the darkest time of their life. Det var den mörkaste tiden i livet deras. They're they're going through a difficult situation. De gick igenom en vansklig situation. They feel like they're gonna die. De följde att de skulle dö. It doesn't look like there's any help in sight. Det ser inte ut som om det är någon hjälp i sikte. And the Bible says Jesus saw them and came to them. Men Bibeln säger att Jesus såg dem och kom till dem. And he comes walking on the very problem they're afraid of. Och han kommer gående på själva problemet som de var rädd för. Cool Jesus. Cool Jesus. I, I want to replay when I get to heaven. Det vill jag gärna se i himlen. His hair blowing as the wind goes. Att liksom <laughs> håret hans bara blir kastat i vinden. 
And them so afraid and he's so calm. Och de så rädda och han är er så rolig. Walking on top of the thing that they think is going to take their life. Som går på toppen av det som de tror kommer att ta deras liv. And when the disciples saw him walking on the sea. Och när disciplarna så ham komma gående på sjön. They were terrified. Så blev de livrädda. Hey, it's a ghost. Ah, oh, det är er spökelse. So they were thinking it would be Jesus. De tänkte inte att det var Jesus. You know, they'd never seen him walk on the water. För de har aldrig sett han gå på vatten. I mean, we've seen him multiply the loaves and fishes. De har sett han multiplicera mat. We, we've seen him work mighty miracles. Vi har sett och sett han gjort mäktiga mirakler. We've seen him raise the dead. Vi har sett han väcka de döda. But walk on top of water. Men att gå på toppen av vatten. I've never seen this before. Det har jag aldrig sett för. So they're like, it's a ghost. Så de sa, ah, oh, det är er spökelse. <laughs> I think Jesus had some fun. Jag tror Jesus hade lite gøy. <laughs> and he immediately spoke to them. Och med en gång så talade han till dem. I love this too. Det att jag älskar det också. In their fear. I deras frukt. He didn't rebuke them. Men han liksom He didn't ja. speak against them. Han sa inte emot dem. He wasn't uh, upset that they were afraid. Han var liksom inte upprörd över att de var uh, rädda. But the moment they express their fear, he immediately comes to give them grace. Men i det ögonblicket de uttrycker frukt så kommer han och vi ger dem nåd. He comes immediately to han, assure them that he's present. Han kommer med en gång för att bekräfta och säga si, jag är. Er. And he said take courage it is I it's me. Och han säger var vi gott mot det är er mig. Hey it's me. Det är er mig. Don't be afraid. Var inte rädd. And I can just imagine what they're thinking. Och jag kan föreställa mig vad de tänkte. Who is this guy? Vem är er den där mannen? And Peter said, "Lord, if it's you." Och Peter han svarte och sa, "Herre, visst är er dig." Command me to come to you. Så be mig komma till dig. On the water. På vattnet. Hey, if this is you, Jesus. Hej, visst är er dig, Jesus. I want to do what you do. Så vill jag göra det du gör. I love Peter. Jag älskar Peter. Do you have that type of personality? Har du den personlighetstypen? Hey, Jesus, you 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 did it. Hej, Jesus, du gjorde det ju. I want to do it. Så vill jag göra det. Can I do what you do? Kan jag göra det du gör? Jesus loves that. Jesus älskar det. Jesus is not turned off by that. Jesus blir liksom inte Jesus is happy when you go, "Hey, the works that you do, you said I can do. I I want to do it." Jesus blir glad när vi säger att men Jesus det du gör det vill jag också göra. And Jesus says, "You want to walk on water, Peter?" Så so säger Jesus, "Vill du gå på vatten, Peter?" Come on. Så so kom igen. Oh. And, and Peter got excited. Då blev Peter begeistrad. And all the other guys, you idiot. Och all de andra var att din idiot. You can't do what Jesus does. Du kan inte göra vad Jesus gör. Peter's like, he told me I can. Men Peter sa med hans vad jag kan. Out of the boat he goes. Ut av båten går han. You know this really happened. Det är skedde faktiskt. This isn't a, just a story we read. Det är inte bara en historia vi läser. Like Peter is human like you. Och Peter han är er mänsklig liksom dig. Come on, fill yourself for a moment. Var känd på det. He had skin and flesh just like you. Han hade skinn och ben som dig. He he felt fear just like you do. Han kände på frykt akkurat som du gör. And he says, I want to do what you do. Och så säger han, jag vill göra det du gör. Jesus, I guarantee he's smiling. Jag garanterar dig att Jesus smilte. He's like, come on. Han sa, kom igen. And the Bible says that Peter gets out of the boat. Så Bibeln säger Peter gick ut av båten. He said come. Vad han sa kom. And Peter got out of the boat and he walked on the water. Och då Peter var kommit ut av båten gick han bort över vattnet. I bet he turned around and looked at the other guys. Jag tror han så ser runt och så på de andra gutta. Look I'm doing it. Jag ser jag gör det. <laughs> you know Peter had a little bit of an attitude, you know. Peter hade lite attityd. If you if you have read about Peter, you know he was a little full of himself sometimes. <laughs> Hvis du leser om Peter, så skjønner du at han var litt full av seg selv noen ganger. But Jesus loved him. Men Jesus elsker Jesus ham. Jesus is not turned off by your imperfections. Jesus blir liksom ikke puttet av fra dine u- uperfektigheter. And here he is walking, doing what Jesus is doing. Og her går han og gjør det Jesus gjør. He is gjør. walking on the problem they were afraid of. Han går på problemet som de var redde for. Amen. Amen. He's 
not afraid of the waves anymore. Han var inte rädd för bågen längre. Hey, I'm on top of this thing. Men säg hej, jag går upp på här. I'm not afraid. Jag är inte rädd. And then the Bible says something interesting. Och så säger Bibeln något intressant. He began to look at the wind. Han började att se på vinden. He began to look at the circumstances around him. Han började att se på omständigheterna runt sig. He took his eyes off of Jesus. Han tog ögonen sina bort från Jesus. As long as he was looking at Jesus. Så länge han så på Jesus. He could do what Jesus is doing. Så kunde han göra det Jesus gjorde. Come on. Kom igen. As long as we keep our eyes on him. Så länge vi ser på han. We are above it too. Så är vi över det också. We are above every circumstance. Så vi över en var omständighet. It can't take us out. Det kan inte ta oss ut. All we got to do is fix our eyes. Allt vi måste göra är att fästa blicken. Look at him. Och se på han. And believe him when he says, "Come on." Och tro på ham när han säger, "Kom igen." But when he looked at the circumstances, he became afraid. Men när han såg på omständigheterna så blev han rädd. Fear comes in. Frykt kom in. And immediately he began to sink. Och strax började han att synka. Isn't that how it goes? Är det inte så det är? We take our eyes off of Jesus. Vi tar ögonen våra väck från Jesus. We put it upon our circumstances. Och vi ser på omständigheterna. They don't look very good. De ser inte så bra ut. And the moment we do that, we begin to sink in doubt and unbelief and hopelessness. Och det ögonblicket vi gör det så börjar vi att synka i vantro och i hopplöshet. And we think, I'm going to die. Och vi tänker, jag kommer att dö. This is not going to turn around. Detta kommer inte att snu. But Peter smart. Men Peter var smart. And he began to cry out. Så han började att ropa ut. The any time we take our eyes off of Jesus. Varje gång vi ser bort från Jesus. And you find yourself sinking in unbelief. Och du följer att du synker i vantro. How do you know you're in unbelief? Hur då vet du att du är i vantro? You become afraid. Du blir rädd. You become anxious. Du blir fylld med angst. You know, call worry. Och jag är besvärad. The moment that happens. I det ögonblicket det startar. Don't condemn yourself. Inte fördöm dig själv. Don't be hard on yourself. Inte var hård mot dig själv. Because Jesus is not hard on you. För Jesus är inte hård mot dig. And deg. Jesus is not condemning you. Och Jesus fördömer dig inte. But be like Peter. Men var som Peter. He immediately cried out, "Lord, save me!" Han med en gång ropte ut, "Herre, fräls mig!" He immediately called on the Lord for help. Han började med en gång att ropa Herren till hjälp. What was he hjelp. doing? Vad gjorde han? He's saying, "I'm weak." Han sa, "Jag är svag." <laughs> I missed it. Jag klarade det inte. But you're my strength. Men du är min styrka. But you are my help. Du är min hjälp. Help me, Jesus. Hjälp mig, Jesus. Save me. Fräls mig. And the Bible says immediately. Och Bibeln säger strax. Jesus didn't say, "Well, I'll answer you next week." Ja, ja, Jesus sa att jag svarar nästa vecka. Maybe after you learned this lesson, then I'll help you. Kanske att du har lärt den lektionen så hjälper jag dig. So the Bible says. Det är det Bibeln säger. The moment he cried out to the Lord for help. Ögonblicket han ropte ut att hjälp efter Herren. The Bible says immediately. Så säger Bibeln strax. Jesus stretched out his hand. Så räckte Jesus ut handen. And took hold of him. Och grep ham. And said to him. Och han sa till ham. Oh, you of little faith. Du lite troende. Why did you doubt? Varför tvivlade du? In other words, why did you take your eyes off of me? I andra ord, varför tog du blicken bort från mig? And then it says something interesting. Och så står det något intressant. And when they got into the boat, och då de kom upp i båten, the wind stopped. Stillnet vinden. We have a brain, right? Vi Church? har en hjärna. Let's think about the story. Låt oss tänka lite på den historien. Jesus is over here. Jesus är här borta. The boat is over here. Båten är här. And Peter gets out of the boat. Och Peter går ut av båten. And he begins to walk to Jesus. Och han börjar gå till Jesus. And somewhere along the way. Och ett långt steg på vägen. He took his eyes off of Jesus. Så så han bort från Jesus. And he began to look at these huge waves. Och började se på dessa enorma bågarna. And he began to sink. 
Och så började han att synka. He cried out. Så ropte han ut. Jesus stretched out his hand. Jesus räckte ut handen. Grabbed hold of him. Tog tag i han. Lifted him up. Lyftet han upp. And the next verse says. Och nästa vers säger. And when they got into the boat. Och då de gick upp i båten. That means when Jesus picked him up. Det vill säga att när Jesus tog han upp. They both walked back to the boat together. Så gick de till båten samman. The moment he asked Jesus for help. Men det ögonblicket han ropte efter hjälp. Jesus didn't just lift him up. Så lyfte inte bara Jesus han. He began to walk on it again. Han började att gå med han igen. He began to see that he can do what he couldn't do before. Han började att se att han klarade att göra det han inte klarade förr. And he and Jesus walked back to the boat. Och Jesus gick tillbaka till båten. Amen. Amen. Don't beat yourself up. Inte liksom bank dig själv. Don't be hard on yourself. Inte var hård mot dig själv. Cry out. Bara rop ut. Lord help me. Herre hjälp mig. You are my strength. Du är er min styrka. And Jesus will pick you up. Då vill Jesus resa dig upp. And you and him. Och du och han. Together. Samman. Will walk on the problem. Vill gå pro- på problemet. Amen. Amen. It's good. Det är er bra. I love this story. Jag älskar den historien. It reveals the character of Jesus. Det visar Jesu karaktär. He's more kind than we can ever imagine. Han är er mycket snillare än vi tror. He's so kind. Han är er så snill. Amen. Amen. <laughs> and and this is what it says in verse 32. Och i vers 32. And when they got into the boat. Och då de kom upp i båten. The wind stopped. Stillnet vinden. And those who were in the boat worshipped him. Och de som var i båten de tillbad ham. They said certainly you are the son of God. Så sa de sannelig du är er Guds son. Certainly. Sannelig you are. Du är er the son of God. Guds son. The Bible says in John chapter 1. Bibeln säger i Johannes kapitel 1. Let me just read it to us. La oss läsa det. In John chapter 1. Johannes 1. It says no one has seen God at any time. Där står det att 18 vers 18. No one no one has seen God at any time. Aldrig har någon sett Gud. No one has seen him. Ingen har sett han. The only begotten God who is in the bosom of the Father has explained him. Den enborne son som är er i Faderns fan, han har förklarat ham. Here Jesus came to explain God to us. Här kom Jesus för att förklara Faderen till oss. As kind as Jesus is, så snill som Jesus är. Er, as compassionate as Jesus is, så omsorgsfull som Jesus är. Er, how he immediately comes to our rescue when we cry. Hur han med en gång kommer till vår räddning när vi ropar ut. This is God. Detta är er Gud. He's come to explain him to us. Han har kommit för att förklara ham till oss. The same way Jesus is. Den samma måten Jesus är. Er. That's how God is. Så när er Gud. They don't have two different separate personalities. De har inte två olika it isn't God is uh, stern and Jesus is soft. Det är inte sånt att Gud är hård och Jesus är mjuk. That's not how it works. Det är inte sånt där. And if we understand this, och om vi förstår detta, we cry out a lot more. Så kommer vi att ropa ut mycket mer. We are more dependent. Då är vi mer avhängiga. Knowing that when we cry, he'll come immediately. För att vi vet att när vi ropar så kommer han med en gång. And lift us up. Och lyfter oss upp. And we'll find our feet back on top of what we were afraid of. Och så vad vi finner att vi står på det som var problemet och som vi var rädda för. This is our God. Detta är vår Gud. It says this in Hebrews chapter 12 verse 2. Så står det i Hebreerna chapter 12, kapitel 12, vers 2. Vers 2. It says, let us fix our eyes on Jesus. Där står det, mens vi ser på Jesus. Let us lay aside every encumbrance and sin which so easily entangles us and let us run with endurance the race that is set before us. 
Troens opphavsmann og fullender, på grund av den gleden som var lagt foran ham, utholdt han korset. Akt- Is this a- yeah, it's verse 1. But how do we lay aside? Men hvordan legger vi til side? And the sin he's talking about is unbelief. Og denne synden han snakker om er vantro. How do we lay that aside? Hvordan legger vi det til How side? do we rise above unbelief and worry and fear? Hvordan reiser vi oss over vantro og bekymring og frykt? Which these are enemies of faith. For dette er troens fiender. How do we overcome that? Hvordan overkommer vi det? It's the next verse. Så er det neste vers. Same way Peter did. På samme måte som Jesus, når Peter gjorde. By fixing our eyes on Jesus. Ved å feste vårt blikk på Jesus. The author and the perfecter of faith. Troens opphavsmann og fullender. For who the joy was set before him, he endured the cross. På grund av den gleden som var lagt foran ham, utholdt han korset. Despising the shame. Han aktet ikke på skammen. And he has sat down at the right hand of God. Og har nå satt seg ved høyre side av Guds We trone. fix our eyes on the one. Vi fester blikket på den ene. Who has already overcome. Som allerede har overvunnet. Who is seated at the right hand of God. Som sitter på Guds høyre side. The one who's representing us to God. Han som representerer oss til Gud. The Bible says Jesus is our high priest. Bibelen sier at Jesus er vår ypperste prest. Do you know what that means? Vet du hva det betyr? That means he's representing you to God. Det betyr at Jesus representerer dig for Gud. You don't represent yourself. Du representerer ikke deg selv. The high priest represents the people to God. Men ypperste presten representerer folket til Gud. And the Bible says that he's representing us blameless before God. Og Bibelen sier at han representerer oss feilfri innenfor Gud. He's representing you blameless. Han representerer deg eh, skyldfri. That's as if you've never ever sinned. Det er som om du aldri noensinne har syndet. That's how he's presenting you. Det er sånn han representerer deg. You said, well... That's not how my life is. Men så sier du vel, det er ikke sånn livet mitt er. But that's the new creation that Christ is presenting to the Father. Men det er den nye skapelsen som Gud, som Jesus representerer til Faderen. The blood of Christ, Kristi blod, has paid our sin. Har betalt for vår synd. The Bible says, He was slain before the foundation of the earth. Bibelen sier at han ble slaktet før jordens grunnvoll. Så han ble slaktet før noen av oss ble født. God is outside of time. Gud er utenfor tid og rom. We live in time. Vi bor i tid. And Jesus went to the cross over 2000 years ago. Og Jesus han gikk til korset for 2000 år siden. None of us were born. Ingen av oss var født. And at the cross Jesus or the father put our sin imputed all our sin to his son. Och på korset så tog fadern och tog all vår synd och la den på Jesus. And Christ has bore it. Och Kristus har borit det. And the Bible says that the judgment of God fell upon Jesus. Och Bibeln säger att dommen från Gud falt på Jesus. It wasn't his judgment. Det var inte hans dom. It was ours. Det var vår dom. It wasn't his sin. Det var inte hans synd. It was ours. Det var vår synd. He had no sin. Han hade ingen synd. He syn. did no sin. Han gjorde ingen synd. In syn. him there was no sin. I ham var det ingen synd. But he took our sin. Men han tog vår synd. And then the judgment and the penalty and punishment for our sin. Och så straffen för vår skyld. Fell on him. Det falt på ham. The Bible says that he was scourged for our healing. Bibeln säger att han blev straffad för vår eller han blev slått för vår helbredelse. The Bible says the punishment for our well-being fell on him. Bibeln säger att straffen för vår synd den fall på han. And by his stripes we are healed. Och vi han så så har vi fått legedom. What does that mean? Vad betyder det? That means that he had to become the sin offering. Det betyder att han måste bli det syndoffret. He had to take our place. Han måste ta vårt ställe. And there was a punishment when you broke God's law. Och det var en straff när du bröt Guds lov. You say but he never broke God's law. Men så säger du men han bröt aldrig Guds lov. You're correct. Det är riktigt. We did. 
wie Jura? You see, he took our place. Dus voor hand ook wordt stelt. And there was a penalty and a punishment for that. Oh, de van straf voor de. And so he would take our punishment. So han wil het op vores schuld that we deserved. Som wie fortjente. It fell on him. Und er fällt på ham. In the garden when Adam sinned. I hagen när Adam syndet. The wages of sin is death. Så är syndens lön döden. The penalty of sin is death. Dommen av synd är död. But God so loved us he didn't want us to die. Men Gud han älskade oss så mycket han ville inte att vi skulle dö. So Christ came and died for us. Så Kristus kom och döde för oss. He would take the penalty of sin. Han ville ta straffen för synd. Which was death. Som var död. It's good. Det är bra. And because of his perfect work. Och på grund av detta perfekta verk. The Bible says that the, at the cross Jesus cried finished. Så säger Bibeln på je- att Jesus han ropte ut på korset det är fullbrakt. What was finished? Vad var färdig? All the judgment and punishment for our sin. All dom och all straff för vår synd. Gone. Det var borta. All sickness and disease was rendered powerless. All sjukdom och all smärta mistet sin kraft. The devil had power before the cross. Djävulen hade makt för korset. But at the cross he was defeated. Men på korset så blev han övervunnet. The Bible said He's powerless. Bibeln säger att han blev funnet maktlös. He had the power of death, but han, now he doesn't have it anymore. Han hade dödens makt, men nu har han inte längre. Jesus took it away from him for us. Jesus tog det väck från han för oss. Now we have the name of Jesus. Nu har vi Jesu namn. Now we have the life of Jesus. Nu har vi Jesu liv. That's why when you speak his name. Det är därför att när du talar hans namn. Because you are the light of the world. För det att du är jordens ljus. And you speak his name. Och du talar hans namn. The Bible says that disease bows to Jesus. Så säger Bibeln att sjukdom böjer sig för Jesus. Amen. Amen. That means we don't have to live under the waves and the wind. Det betyder att vi behöver inte leva ut under bågen och under vinden. We don't have to sink like like Peter did. Vi behöver inte synka som Peter gjorde. We get to walk on the water. Vi får gå på vattnet. We get to walk above our problems. Vi får gå över våra problem. We get problemer. to walk in victory. Vi får gå i seger. Because now we are hand in hand with Jesus. För nu har vi hand med hand med Jesus. And now we walk together. Och nu går vi samman. I walk in the power of his name. Jag går i kraften av Jesu namn. I walk in the power of the Holy Spirit. Jag går i kraften av Helligon. I'm not walking alone anymore. Jag går inte alene längre. I'm walking full of the Holy Ghost. Jag går full av Helligon. God lives in me. Gud bor i mig. God lives in you. Gud bor i dig. So now you can walk on top of it. Så nu kan du gå över det. Amen. Amen. We're not afraid anymore. Vi är inte rädda längre. We have power in our life. Vi har fått kraft i vårt liv. Amen. Amen. And all we got to do is fix our eyes. Och allt vi tränger göra är att fästa blicken. It's because of his sacrifice. Det är på grund av hans offer. That I get to live above the wind and the waves. Att jag kan leva över vinden och över bågarna. See because the wind and the waves want to destroy me. För egentligen så vill vinden och bågarna ödelägga mig. The Bible says Satan comes to steal, kill and destroy. Bibeln säger att Satan kommer för att stjäla och ödelägga. He doesn't li- He didn't like you. <laughs> Han liker dig. He doesn't like me. <laughs> Han liker inte mig. Why? Because we're made in the image of God. För det vi är skapt i Guds bilde. But he's defeated. Men han är övervunnet. Through Christ. Genom Kristus. Amen. Amen. Today we're going to partake of communion. Idag ska vi ta del i nattvärn. What are we going to do? Vad gör vi? We're going to fix our eyes. Vi ska fästa blicken. And as we fix our eyes. Och mens vi fästa blicken. You're going to find yourself on top of it. Så vill du finna dig över det. You're going to find your problem comes under your feet. Du vill märka att problemet kommer under dina fötter. Because it's under the feet of Jesus. För det är under Jesu fötter. It's just by beholding. Det är bara vi att se. You remember in 
And I believe it's Numbers, the book of Numbers. Jag tror det är i fjärde Mosebok. Where the people got bit by snakes. Hvor folket ble bitt av slanger. The people are dying. Og folket holdt på å dø. And there are thousands of people that had died. Og var tusenvis av folk som allerede hadde død. And Moses began, he's so smart. Og Moses begynte, for han er veldig smart. He cried out to the Lord. Han ropte ut til Herren. Come on, be smart. Kom igjen, vær smart. Don't, don't try to be tough. Ikke prøv å være tøff selv. Cry out. Rop ut. Help. Hjelp. <laughs> Help me, Holy Ghost. Hjelp meg, Hellige Ånd. I'm weak. Jeg er svak. You're my strength. Du er min styrke. Moses is smart. Moses, han er smart. When death was all around him. Når død var overalt rundt he ham. He realized he had no power in himself. Så innså han, jeg har ikke noe kraft i meg selv. So the Bible says he cried out to God. Så Bibelen sier han ropte ut til Gud. Help. Hjelp. And God says take a, a serp, take a pole and put a bronze serpent on it. Så Gud han sa ta en stav och så putt en bronsslange runt. What is it to take a stick and put a snake on it? Vad vad är liksom det att ta en stav och putta en slange runt den? It's a picture of Christ becoming the curse for us. Det är bilden på att Jesus blev förbannelsen för oss. He became your curse. Han blev din förbannelse. That means you don't have to come under it. Det be- betyr at du ikke trenger å være under den. You get to be free of it. Du trenger å være fri fra den. No, but I need to do something to break this curse. Ja, men jeg må gjøre noe for å bryte denne forbannelsen. No, you don't. Nei, du trenger ikke det. Just look at him. Bare festblikke på han. Because he became the curse. For han ble forbannelsen. And God says, tell everyone who's dying, Og who's Gud. sick. Og Gud sa, si til alle som er syke og som holder på å dø. Just tell them to look at that bronze serpent. Bare si til dem å se på den slangen. And whoever looks at it. Og den som ser på den. Lives. Kommer til å leve. Is it that easy? Er det så lett? No, you don't get healed that easy. Nei, du blir jo ikke helbredet så lett. Surely I need to pray a good prayer. Jeg må jo be en lang bønn. I know, maybe I need to fast first. Kanskje jeg trenger å faste. Or maybe I need to give something to God first. Eller gi noe til Gud først. Surely it's not that easy. Det kan jo ikke være så lett. Come on, you make this grace too easy. Kom igjen, du gjør dette nådegreiene for lett. I didn't write the book. Jeg skrev ikke Bibelen. God made his grace very easy. Gud har gjort hans nåde veldig lett. You see, because his son has done all the work. Fordi sønnen hans har gjort all jobben. We just behold him. Vi bare fester blikket på ham. We fix our eyes. Vi fester blikket. And we get to live. Så får vi leve. And the Bible says. Og Bibelen sier. That everyone who looked upon that bronze serpent. At alle som så på den bronseslangen. Lived. Levde. What does that mean? Hva betyr det? There were many who wouldn't look. At det var mange som ikke ville se. I can't make you look this morning. Men jeg kan ikke tvinge deg til å se her på morgenen. But if you say, help me, Jesus. Men hvis du sier, hjelp meg, Jesus. The Holy Spirit will help you look. Så vil Helligånd hjelpe deg å se. God gave the solution for their healing. Gud ga løsningen for deres helbredelse. And it required them to do nothing. Og det krevde at de gjorde ingenting. No human effort. Ikke noe menneskelig strev. Just look. Bare se. And whoever looked, lived. Og den som så, han levde. I think it's so wild that many would not look at it. Jeg synes det er så vilt at mange ikke ville se på det. They refused to look. De nektet å se. And therefore they died. Og derfor døde de. Amen. Amen. May the Holy Spirit må Helligånd help us every day. Hjelpe oss hver dag. Maybe you put a little note, write it on your fridge. Kanskje lage en liten lapp og putte den på kjøleskapet. Fix my eyes on him. Fest blikket på ham. And I live. Så lever jeg. And my life is a good life if I just look at him. Mitt liv er et godt liv hvis jeg bare ser på ham. There's no situation that's too bad. Det er ingen situasjon som er for ille. If I just look. Hvis jeg bare ser. Amen. Amen. I was in Denmark. Jeg var i Danmark. And there was a lady who was um, diagnosed. She had terminal four stage cancer. Og det var en dame der som hadde kreft i fjerde stadiet. And I was asked to meet with her. Og jeg ble bedt om å møte henne. And I began to talk to her kind of on the same lines just get your eyes on Jesus. Och jag började att snacka som på samma måte här bara fäst blicke på Jesus. And it sounds so simple. Och det hörte så simpelt ut. You see but I'm not a healer. För du sa ni jag är ingen helbredare. I have no healing power. Jag har ingen helbredande kraft. It's God who heals. Det är Gud som helbredare. 
I'm just a good pointer. Jag var en god peker. I just want to point you to him. Jag vill bara peka på ham. So you can see him. Så du kan se ham. So the Holy Spirit can do the work. Så Helgon kan göra arbetet. And she began to look at him. Och hon började se på ham. And everything changed. Och då började allt att förändras. That one look. Det där ena blicket delivered her from stage 4 cancer. Det fridde henne fra kreft i fjärde No mountain is greater than Jesus. Ikke noe fjell er større enn Jesus. I don't Jesus. care how bad it looks. Jeg bryr meg ikke om hvor ille det ser ut. I don't care what the report of the world gives you. Jeg bryr meg ikke om rapporten du har fått fra verden. Jesus is greater. Jesus er større. That may be a fact in the world. Det er uh, kanskje fakta i verden. The Bible says thy word is truth. Men Bibelen sier ditt ord er sant. And I don't know about you, but we have a game in the US. Jeg vet ikke med deg, men vi har et sånt spill i USA. It's called Trump. Det heter Trump. You know, Trump. we have this card games, and if I have this one card, I can trump the whole thing. Det vi har et sånt kortspill, og hvis jeg legger trumfen, så trumper jeg alt. I don't care what good hand you have. Jeg bryr meg ikke om hvilken god hånd du har. And you think you're winning. Og du tror at du vinner. I'm laughing because I got the Trump card. Jeg ler fordi jeg har trumfkortet. This is the trump card. Dette er trumfkortet. Jesus is the trump. Jesus er trumf. Hey, remember that. Husk på det. The name of Jesus is your trump card. Navnet Jesus er ditt trumfkort. Just lay it over the fact. Bare legg den over dette fakta. And watch what happens. Og se hva som skjer. Just put your eyes on the truth. Bare fiks øynene på sannheten. And Jesus will change the fact. Og Jesus forandrer fakta. Just as he did for them in the wilderness. Akkurat som han gjorde med de i ødemarken. Amen. Så... We're going to partake together. Så vi skal ta den advarende sammen. And we're going to look at Jesus. Og vi skal se på Jesus. And guess what's going to happen? Og gjett hva som kommer til å skje. You're going to get healed. Du kommer til å bli helbredet. You're going to get free. Du kommer til å bli fri. Maybe you don't need healing, but there's a circumstance in your life you want to see turned around. Kanskje du ikke trenger helbredelse, men det er omstendighet i ditt liv som du trenger at snur. It happens as you look at him. Det skjer når du fester blikk på ham. It happens as we as we remember. Det skjer mens vi husker hva han gjorde for oss. Amen. Amen. Er dere klar for å feste blikket på ham? På hans blod og på hans kropp? Jeg leser enda et vers for dere. Kan vi kanskje få noen til å starte å hende ut? Det er i Korintherne. 1. Korintherne, kapitel 11. 1. Kor 11. We're going to remember. Vi skal huske. I like good memories, don't you? Jeg, li jeg liker å ha god hukommelse. I keep a few pictures on my phone that I can look back and remember. Jeg har noen sånne telefoner på mobilen som jeg kan se på og huske. And when I look at those pictures, I get pretty happy. Og når jeg ser på de bildene, så blir jeg veldig glad. I remember certain friends that that I don't see very often. Jeg minnes forskjellige venner som jeg ikke ser så ofte. I have pictures that make me remember certain things that were going on in my life at that moment. Jeg har bilder som minner meg om hvordan livet mitt var på visse tidspunkter. And when I look at these memories, it makes me very happy. Og når jeg ser på disse minnene, så gjør det meg veldig glad. We're going to we're going to remember. Så vi skal huske. Vi skal minnes Kristus. And this is what it says. Og det er dette som står. 1 Corinthians chapter 11 verse 23. 1. Korintherne 11 vers 23. And this is the apostle Paul speaking. Og dette er Paulus som taler. For I received from the Lord for jeg har mottatt fra Herren. Så Paul gets this revelation straight from Jesus. Så Paulus får den oppenbaringen rett fra Jesus. And this is a revelation for the church. Og dette er en oppenbaring til kirken. It's for everybody who's anybody who's put faith in Christ. Det er til alle som har satt sin tro til Kristus. This is for you. Dette er til deg. I received from the Lord. For jeg har mottatt fra Herren. That which I also delivered to you. Det jeg også har overgitt til dere. That the Lord Jesus in the night that he was betrayed. At Herren Jesus i den natt han ble forrått. He took bread. Tok et brød. And when he had given thanks. Og da han hadde takket. He broke it. Brøt han det. And he said this is my body. Og så sa han ta og et. Dette er mitt legeme. 
which is for you. Som er brutt for dere. Do this in remembrance of me. Gjør dette til minne om meg. So as we partake of the bread together, so når vi tar del av brødet sammen, we're going to remember so skal vi that his body was broken, at hans kropp ble brutt, that he bore our diseases, at han bar våre sykdommer, our sicknesses and pains, vår sykdom og vår smerte, that he did do it, at han gjorde det. And then he said this, og så sa han dette, verse 25, i vers 25, in the same way, på samme måte, he took the cup, Tok han også begeret. Also after supper saying, etter måltidet og sa, This is the cup of the new covenant. Dette begeret er den nye pakt. In my blood. I mitt blod. Do this. Gjør dette. As often as you drink it. Så ofte dere drikker det. Do it in remembrance of me. Til minne om meg. So we're going to partake remembering that by his blood. Så vi skal ta del ved å minnes at ved hans blod. We're forgiven. Så er vi tillit. The Bible says this in Revelation chapter 1 verse 5. Bibelen sier dette i Uppenbarelsen. To him who loved us. At han som elsket oss. And released us from our sin. Og løste oss fra vår synd. Or washed us from our sin. Eller vasket oss fra vår synd. By his blood. Ved hans blod. When his blood was shed, når hans blod ble utgydd, all your sin was washed away. Så ble all din synd vasket bort. Let's remember that this morning. Lås huske det denne morgen. Let's remember that there's not one single sin that he did not take care of. Lås huske at det er ikke en eneste synd som han ikke tok seg hånd om. By his blood. Ved hans blod. We are forgiven. Så er vi tillit. And by his broken body. Og ved hans brutte kropp. We have been healed. Så har vi blitt helbredet. See, if you have a sickness today. Så hvis du har en sykdom i dag. Thank him as you partake today. Så takk ham når du tar del av nattverden i dag. That he bore that for you. At han bar det for deg. And thank him that you are free of it. Og takk ham for at du er fri fra det. Because he rose from the dead. Fordi han reiser seg fra de døde. And he rose for you. Og han reiste seg opp for deg. He rose for me. Og han reiste seg for meg. So we can have victory. Så vi kunne ha seier. Amen. Amen. Do I have, do we have a, they're coming. Hallelujah. Oh, they're still passing out. Okay. God is good. The Bible says that God provides a way of escape. Bibelen sier at Gud um, lagde en vei av forløsning. Eller. I won't turn there. It's in 1 Corinthians chapter 10. Det står i 1. Korintherne 10. It says that when we go through a trial. Det står at når vi går igjennom vanskeligheter. That God provides the door of exit. At Gud kommer med en utgangsvei. If I'm in trouble. Hvis jeg er i trøbbel, and I have no way out. Og jeg kan noen vei ut. I like that there's a door. <laughs> så liker jeg at det er en dør. And I like that God's there. Og jeg liker at Gud har den som takker meg. So that I can be carried safely away from danger. Så jeg kan bli båret bort fra fare. Da er, går vi mot slutten her på dette møtet. Og som du 